Good morning, Church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. It's a joy to come back to you uh, every other week to every other day to share with you a short devotion. I'll talk about today. Continue on. Be brave. Devotion number twenty second. It says, "Brave to put God first." Brave to put God first. Do you know to put God first in your life take bravery? All right. Matthew six thirty three says. Seek first the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. Everything you need. He did not say luxury. Everything that you need for survival and for life. So seek first the kingdom of God above all else. You know, it's interesting because it tells you and I. A lot of people put themselves first, put every other thing first, but not God. But it take it takes a brave person. To put Jesus first in their life, I will share with you in a while why. This same verse in the Living Bible put it this way, and He will give them to you if you give Him first place in your life, and lives as He wants you to. One more time, and He will give them to you if you give Him first place in your life and live. As he wants you to, he say, you know what? God will take care of all our needs. You see, remember the word is needs. All our needs, if we learn to put Jesus first in our lives, and live as Jesus wants us to live, He will take care of it. Amen. You have to be brave to, to be able to do that. You know. Deuteronomy six verses four to nine says. Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord alone. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home, and when you are on the road, and when you are going to bed, and when you are getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and your gates. It says what? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. You know, as a Christian, as a believer in Christ Jesus, we cannot take these commands lightly to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. When this verse says to love your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, it means to put God first or to love God first and foremost in your life. He must be number one. Meaning to love Him as the most important person in your life. When you love someone with all your heart, you naturally will put them first in your life. If you love your girlfriend, if you love your boyfriend as important, you know,、uh, you will put them first. Not your friends, not any other person, but him first in your life. You know,、uh, the Bible says to love God and to seek first His kingdom. It doesn't say to love myself and seek first my comfort. He doesn't say to love material things and seek first my happiness. He doesn't say love me first, the spotlights in my life, and seek my name first. It doesn't mean to love God first in His kingdom, meaning to put everything I desire and want first. Out of a wholehearted love, we are called to do one thing: that is to put God first. In our life, in all areas of our lives, all areas meaning your finances, your time, ah,、uh, your relationships, your businesses. Do you honor God in your businesses? Your career. Do you honor God in your career? Your education. Do you honor God in your education? Ah,、uh, your finances. Do you honor God in your finances? Ah,、uh, your relationship. Do you honor God in your relationship? What else? There are so many things that relate to our life. Do we put God first? When we are committed wholeheartedly to love God above all else, 
He takes care of everything else we need. Remember this. It is a promise, you know, from the Bible. It says that when you learn to put God first above all else, He promised you and I, all your needs will be taken care of. It may not come in the time that we want to come. God will allow our needs to be provided for at the right time, uh, uh, at the right day, and the right point that we really need it at the time for our life. We have to be brave enough to put God first in our days, in our habits, in our priorities, in our lives, everything that relates to us, we must put God first, consider God first. But what would God say? What would God think? What would God have me to do in this situation, in this environment, in this thing, with that things in my life? We are called to live in total devotion and commitment to God. To do this, we must submit every part of our lives to God's kingdom purposes. One more time. We are called to live in total devotion to God and, and, and commitment to God. And to do this, we must submit every part of our lives to God's kingdom purposes and God's plan and God's will for every one of our lives. So therefore, let me close with this. We must be brave to put God first. A lot of people are not brave enough to give, put God first. You know, that's the reason why a lot of people are not, God is never first in their life because you know why? To them, their life is the most important. Their family is the most important. They are all important. Their career is the most important. Their education is the most which is true. But is God far more important than all these things around us? If we do put Him first, He promised you and I, He will take care of all our needs and promise you and I, you and I will be blessed. In everything that you do, in everything you touch, and everywhere you go, you will be blessed. Amen? So, brave to put God first. Remember this throughout the day. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you'll bless all my brothers and my sisters with bravery to put you first in their life, in everything they do, wherever they go, and how they live their lives. May this day you cover them with your precious blood and you bless them with a great, great day, a successful day as they honor you in everything they do in their life and you will become their priority. Your kingdom purposes will become their priority in life. We pray for your blessing upon all who listen to this devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone say, Amen. So you have a great and a blessed day. Remember to put Jesus first in your day. Amen. God bless you.